Hello, hello. Hashtag Health Wealth Life Day 204. Let's do a little bit of that. Voila. Day 204. Now you can see this. Health Wealth Life. Cool. Uh, where are we? Quickest way to fat loss. I'll give you two little steps. It's really simple. I'm going to make this short, sweet, simple. Just follow this and you will drop fat faster than a snow cone melting in hell. Carmen, how are you? <laughs> Hope you've had a good day. So, Isabel, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Long time no see. It's been at least a week or so. Um, how do you lose fat? So the first thing you want to do, which you'll already know this, right? You want to cut out the carbs. But why do you want to cut out the carbs? There's a lot of reasons why you want to cut the carbs out. Number one, you really want to reduce your sugar intake to as little as possible because it causes inflammation. When you cause inflammation, you you do a number of things. Depending on where the inflammation goes, it sets in the gut. You can't get enough absorption of vitamins and minerals and then you can't help, you can't detoxify because you need those vitamins and minerals and amino acids to detoxify the toxins out of your system. And a lot of the toxins are fat soluble. So in your fats, when your body says, hey, we need to burn some fat and it starts mobilizing those that fat and those toxins, you need stuff to get it out of the system. And if you're inflamed, you can't take those on board and therefore you don't have them in the system and you can't get rid of them. So they get stuck in your system. So the first thing, and one of the reasons is to decrease, decrease your carbs. That's an obvious one, we all know that, right? What's the other reason why you wanna decrease your carbs? And here's a big one, every gram of carbohydrate. So every gram of carbohydrate brings with it three to four grams of water. So if you wanna get rid of water retention, if you don't wanna look bloated, if you don't want your face to look a little bit puffed out, get rid of the carbs. When you work it out, when you work it off, so you don't take in sugars, and you work out or you move even, just walking, moving, going up downstairs, all that stuff, natural movement in the day, you'll burn off the glycogen. So that's stored carbohydrates in your system. You'll burn it off. And for every gram that you burn off, it will take with it three to four grams of water. This can be part of the biggest uh, part of weight loss when you first start a low carb diet. Ray and Pete, how are you? Hope you're well. Hope you had a good day, mate. Um, so that's another reason why you would get a lot of fat, uh, a lot of weight loss uh, when you start uh, cutting your carbs. So that's number one, number one. That's the diet. So people say like the diet, taking care of your diet is, is about 80% of your health program, your weight loss program, however you want to look at it. So that is the number one really. And there's just a couple of really big reasons, real straightforward uh, why you want to cut the carbs out. Because we all know we should, but why do you want to do it? Sometimes I think doing being a mental and physical strength coach, we need to know a little bit of information. Some people like to know a lot, I like to know a lot, but you need to know a little bit of information just to say, okay, that's the hook of why I'm doing this. It makes, when you understand it, it makes sense why you wanna keep doing it. Brett, how are you, mate? Hope it all's good over in the States. Um, number two, you wanna lift weights. So, you wanna go up with, uh, you know, there's another ways to call it, but resistance training. Resistance training. So what does that mean? So you need to lift weights. So you could do this body weight to begin with. You will get results straight away. So for instance, uh, if you didn't see my video yesterday, check out the squat video. If you did those every day, I said eight to 12, a minimum of one set. Uh, you would help stimulate some growth in your quads, in your glutes, and through the trunk and through your back if you do it well. So if you follow the video yesterday, have a look at that. Get the squats going. Richard, how are you? Hope you're well, mate. And uh, get the squats going. That'll be part of your resistance training program. Obviously, the more you do, the more results you'll get or the faster the results will come for you. But just start take start taking steps and you'll build it up over time. Some people go too fast, too quick, get really fatigued, really tired, get worn out, and then cut their calories too much, actually, and get ill or get injured. So what you want to do is take the carbs out, increase the good fats. Remember I talk about the good fats quite a lot. If you haven't seen those videos, have a skim through, find the ones about fats. There's only six real fats, six fats that you really want to consume. So you want to take in coconut oil, olive oil, uh, butter, ghee, nuts and seeds, avocado, and um, what's the last one? And the sixth one. Have a look on the video. Come back to me in a minute. But there's only six that you want to take in. Uh, well, so come back to that anyway. So increase your fats, increase your proteins. If you're not sure what fats, carbohydrates, and proteins are, it's easy to Google that. When you Google carbohydrates, only take in low glycemic index. You can Google that as well. I have talked about it in previous videos. So only low glycemic carbohydrates. This is the question that I get a lot. Is is fruit bad for me? Is fruit bad for me? No. The answer is no. But if you're fat 
then yes, it's not going to get you thinner. You need to cut the fruits down, you need to cut them out for a while even, and then reintegrate them once you've dropped a bit of fat, once you've become a little bit more insulin sensitive. Brittany, how are you? Hope you're having a good evening. Brett, thanks mate. Thanks for the thumbs up. Um, so, fruits aren't bad for you, but if you want to drop some body fat, then cut the carbs down. So fruits have a... Uh, different. All fruits are made... Uh, differently, so not all fruits are made equally, is another way to say that sentence, and look for low glycemic index fruits, and they are berries, apples, pears are your best bet, and plums as well. Cherries not bad, they're the highest in fibre, but check those out, go li low glycemic index, low glycemic index. Kieran, how are you mate? Hope you're well. I uh, hope what we talked about last time is all working out well. All good, mate. Um, so, cut your carbs, and I've given you a few reasons why, if you didn't see that, skip back to the beginning. Resistance training, so look at the video from yesterday about squats, uh, take on a resistance training program, you can easily follow loads off of YouTube, follow someone good, if you're not sure who that is, ask around, see if some, see if a name gets overlapped two or three times. Um, or reach out to an expert online and ask them the question, maybe they'll give you a program, maybe they'll help you out, who knows. Or hire someone and they'll write it for you. Either way, get yourself a good resistance training program because this is why. If you lay down on the floor now, and we've figured out, you didn't move, just breathing, we figured out how many calories you burnt in a day. Let's say 500 calories for argument's sake. You burn 500 calories. Now, you do a six week, or four week even, an eight week, a 12 week, you do a number of weeks resistance training. You build up your muscle tone, you build a little bit of size maybe for ladies, don't worry about that, you look good, trust me. It looks better, men like it, trust me. You don't need to be this skinny stick, you need a little bit of muscle there, it's good for you. So, building up a little bit of muscle tone, and it's harder for women to get too muscly, so don't worry about that. Really go for it. It's not like you're gonna wake up one morning and look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's gonna take time. You're gonna see your body changing over time. You can change the training accordingly. It's all good. Nora, how are you? Hope you're well. Hope you're very well, in fact. So, don't be afraid of the resistance training. Get stuck into that, because it's important, especially for women's side of things, it's very good for osteoporosis, osteopenia, uh, all of the bone thinning, bone density. It's great, high impact, it keeps your bones uh, in good tip-top shape. So build the resistance training up. If we laid down, you figured out 500 calories in a day, do your resistance training for a certain number of weeks, you'd probably take it up to 750, maybe 900, depending on how uh, your genetics, how quickly you put on muscle, how hard you trained, how well you ate alongside that. You could put on, you know, uh, maybe seven, eight pounds of muscle, depending on how many weeks, looking at six plus weeks then uh, you'd be burning a lot more calories because your muscles are actually furn calorie furnaces, calorie furnaces. So if you want to get your metabolism up, you need to eat a lot more of certain foods, decrease your carbs, increase your resistance training. Davinia, an inspired Heather from Paris, or is actually your name Paris? Heather Paris, don't know. Welcome anyway, nice to see you. So, drop the carbs, and I'll and I give you a few reasons why, because it causes inflammation, certain sugars. Anyway, drop the sugars out and they carry with it one, one gram carries three to four grams of water. So if you want to get rid of that bloatedness, drop the carbs and you'll burn it out. Increase your resistance training. You can do push-ups, you can do squats, you know, you can get yourself in the gym and lift some weights. That is the best two ways to get your body fat down. If you do these two things, you will drop fat faster than a snow cone melting in hell. All right, so think about that. Think about what that looks like because that's what you can have happen on your body. Anyway, but you have to stick with it. You have to stick with it. All right, that's it. Press that share button. Press it now. Any questions, pop them in the comment box. And uh, any questions, let me know. Send me a, a, a heads up. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a shout out. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have an amazing rest of the day. And always remember that happy is a skill that you can learn. And this, dropping your carbs and increasing your resistance training, is a better way to bring out your personal best. Let's go get some health wealth. Let's take the world with us. I'll see you tomorrow.